Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, the camera's not working very well today. Here's an update what's going on at Yellowstone. There was an earthquake by Helena, Montana, a magnitude 3.3, 5 kilometers in depth. That would be about 3.1 miles in depth up over here. 12 people reported feeling it using USGS. Yeah, you can see it's right on a fault line here. See that? And we'll bring it out to get an idea of maybe some of the population. Closer to Marysville than I would say Helena. You know, it used to be they never had earthquakes in this area. At least they were very rare. I never heard about them. Could have been stronger and more unlikely it was because we know USGS loves to downgrade these earthquakes automatic by the computer. 3.86, farther the way farther away the monitor is, the smaller the earthquake would register another 4.01. Log Hollow, now that's way down south. That came in as a 2.81. Uh, 3.95, I'm not sure where that one's at. Um, moon, uh, 2.46, again, that one's also way down south. Actually, Moo, M-O-O-W, uh, yeah, way down here. See that? And the other one also is down here in this location. There's Jackson, and the earthquake occurred way up here. Here we got Bozeman. And it was probably a little west of Bozeman. Actually, a little farther than a little farther than Bozeman. There's Great Falls, Helena. Um, that's all they're showing right here on um, USGS. See snow's way down here, too. And we'll look at the signature there. Yeah, a lot of activity. A few little earthquakes. Here's Fermu. I'll pull this up so you can see it or pull it down. See that? That's the 3.3 right there. You can see we got another one there, another one there, another one there. Yeah, none of those are being reported. We got one up here in red right there. Okay, there's the 3.3. Um, this is Snow King. And yeah, we also have the other one showing up on the same monitor. Here we have Yellowstone Lake. Now these are the monitors from the University of Utah. Again, there's that 3.0. And look at all the earthquakes there at Yellowstone Lake. Here we got the Flag Ranch, Wyoming. Yeah, look at all the earthquakes. Yeah, um, yeah, there's the 3.3 now. There's that other one and the other one. And another one. Again, these are way down south from Yellowstone Lake. The borehole for Yellowstone Lake. I haven't used these uh, charts here in quite a while. Look at them all in red. Yeah, I'll make that bigger for you. The borehole for Grant, there's that 3.0. See all the little small microquakes? Mammoth Vault, there's that 3.3. Yeah, look at all the activity. Now, Mammoth Vault, is up here with the border with Montana. Maple Creek, and we'll look at that one. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's the 3.0, that's how it came in at Maple Creek. We'll pull it up. We got several in red. Um, yeah, we got another one in red, another one in red. These are the ones that I talked about that aren't being reported. Um, near the Medicine River, Norris Junction area, um, Heb Heben, Heben Lake, however you want to describe it or say it. See, there's Yellowstone Lake, and this is Maple Creek and Heben Lake. Denny Creek. I thought you might enjoy seeing some charts from some other places that I haven't shown in, oh, a good year or so. 
here we have Mary Lake yeah look at all the activity there's its location Joseph Coat Soda Butte yeah you can see here you know you can tell which monitors are cranked up they have the microvolt so high that it doesn't show the earthquakes compared with the other ones and there's those other more recent earthquakes they're not reporting Pelican Cove yeah see how it's cranked up big difference in how it shows Northeast entrance maybe I should start showing you guys these instead of what I've been showing you because the other ones that yeah they know everyone uses them or I use them um, yeah there's that 3.3 look at the activity Parker Peak that's that 3.3 yeah I'd say it's larger than there's the other ones that are not reporting this is the um, Norris Junction area this is that earthquake as it came in there you see the signature and the spectrogram here we have the monitor for a little west thumb now this is um, by Yellowstone Lake yeah look at all these nothing to see move along right and here we have the monitor for Madison River this is that 3.3 uh, oops right there yeah look at that how it really shook up the cold air again I'm not surprised for the Madison River area this will be more likely the area that starts to unzip first and then we got the other earthquakes that they're not reporting look at that look at that look at the line of melt now the line of melt is pockets of melt kinda like the holes on a sponge where you have rock and not all rock melts at the same temperature yeah look at that yeah look at that yeah it's really hot there but see how close that is I don't know exactly how deep that is um, and then here's that other more recent yeah look at that and yeah, the heat down there looks like they're taking a view of beehive beehive lately around the outside of the initial cones been showing a lot of activity a lot of steam so that's all I have for you right now yeah everything's normal right um, yeah if you have any thoughts or comments or questions put it down below I'll, I think I'll start using the other charts until they start fudging with them again and this is what I'm talking about fudging with them um, this here is the monitor for Norris Junction the tilt yeah they do it so you can't see what's going on but look how much it jumped remember I told you we had a lot of activity between the 28th and 29th we got a dot way down here at the bottom of this line and this is the last seven days yeah they fudging with stuff then we got uh, Panther which is up there by the border with Montana a dot way down there a lot of dots going on here means lots of activity a lot of vibration and here we got Grant yeah it took a big breath there on the 28th last seven days look how far out these uh, earthquakes are that caused uplift and then the last 30 days I'll show you that and then we got um, Yellowstone Lake but yeah you guys that follow me you definitely can tell that they're um, messing with the settings so we don't see what's going on um, one two three four maybe five um, events where they had uplift and then the last 30 days and then we got Madison River yeah they just look at how far out the uplift is occurring and I talked about these earthquakes that are on the edge of um, the uplift that I marked out now this is from 2015 yeah you know Soda Springs um, that one was um, well last year and this one I probably didn't put a date on it see the uplift back in 2015 
went as far as well I don't see any towns listed Manhattan Montana Three Forks Lewis and Clark Cavern yep Mount Humbug etc so that's all I have for you right now um, if you have any thoughts or comments and if you think everything is a okay and normal that's all right please stay safe and I will talk to you later God bless you bye